Hi everybody, San Bonan. Welcome to my channel, Kamalam Gontandam Ledger. And on this channel, Skulumama Reality TV shows, I'm a celebrity, and I'm a YouTuber. So if it's your first time joining me today and you'd like the content on this channel, do not forget to press the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And if you want to support the channel some more, please press the like button. It's very quick and, and free. Also, you can watch adverts on uh, this video. So you guys, I want to do the story because Nezi because uh, got married not so long ago, you know, beautiful wedding, beautiful bride, handsome husband, and then uh, she was pregnant and then had a baby, okay, beautiful, cute baby, you guys. She posted her baby and, and then she started uh, being bullied uh, online. And uh, I'm going to talk about that, you guys. But just to give a background for those who don't know who Snezi is, Snezi is a singer. She was on Idols, one season of Idols. And while she was doing the Idols, uh, that was the same season that the Kwabe twins, the Q twins, the twins that are now working with Dira, I believe that they are signed to Dira's company now, were on the competition. Okay, they were very good. Snezi is brilliant okay amazing singer the twins were the same but in that competition the twins were a little bit reserved and um i, I don't know how it, it almost felt like they were very uh, timid while they were going through a competition but one thing that they could do was sing so at some point you guys the twins decided to withdraw from the competition and uh, after they had done that and went home, uh, people started accusing Snezi of being the one that had bullied the twins to a point where they had to withdraw from the competition. I think Snezi ended up winning that competition, but the twins were no longer there. So she got that uh, backlash that she had been the one that uh, had bullied uh, the twins. I've never really uh, known if that story was true, that she bullied them. I knew that th those were the rumors uh, that people were talking about after the twins had left the, the competition. Because there were so many people that loved the twins uh, in the competition and also the fact that people don't like bullies. And uh, of course, there are people that didn't like her because of that, because everybody thought that she was the reason that the twins had left the competition. However, she has maintained that that was not true, you guys. I don't know if they had had an exchange that people interpreted as her pulling the twins and maybe after that exchange, the twins left. I don't know, but she, had, she has always insisted that she wasn't a bully. And so recently she posted a photo of her child. Okay, I'm not going to put it here, you guys, because YouTube doesn't like us to uh, post children, especially when it goes to certain stories. I'm talking about, you know, polling and all of that. So she posted a photo of her child, a cute child, you guys, and people made some comments that we just left, you know, <laughs> that went to the left. Uh, there is somebody that posted that her child does look like, um, uh, you know, the movie Shrek. Yeah, Shrek's babies, okay, which are very cute babies, you guys. It's just that they are Shrek's babies. They say that their child looks like that. And then she got upset about it, you guys. I think that uh, as much as I feel like Shrek's uh, babies are cute, but I understand how she would be offended by such comments. So she ended up going online to say, listen, you guys, I've taken this uh, cyberbullying for so long now. It's about time that the twins, the cute twins, tell the truth about what happened. You know, and I get her point there, you guys, because obviously the people that know what happened is the Q twins and Snezi. And I think that if the twins had to come out and say, listen, Snezi didn't do anything to us. We left the competition because we wanted to leave the competition. I think it will make a difference to some people. So it's like she has been continuously bullied online for something that she says that she didn't do. And she's feeling like maybe it's about time that the twins just confirm, just tell the people that I did not. That's what she wrote. That you know, you know, it's it's about time that they tell people that I did not do anything to them. I do wonder, you guys, because obviously where there's smoke, there's fire. I do wonder where those rumors came from exactly that people ended up believing that she had been a bully. 
Okay, so this article was written based on the post that she had uh, made on her uh, social media. I do star snazzy. Uh, I suffered. This is a story by Putima Tobele. Former Idols contestant Usnezi has opened up about being bullied. The singer and songwriter whose real name is Nentlal Jamsomi took to social media to share her pain about people who were bullying her and her little baby. The 29-year-old Devon based musician said she can't believe she's still crying four years later and she doesn't know why. She said she even had to delete some of her contacts because of the hate she had been receiving on social media. She also shared that this has affected her over the past years. It is crazy how my music never trends like the cyberbullying I received and now the stigma of being a bully is catching on my baby. And when will I be vindicated? She's only months now. What? She should grow up with low self-esteem because of her mom being accused of pulling contestants on the competition and now she must suffer. Internet doesn't forget. Uh, internet don't forget already. It hurts the fact that she'll Google me one day and find all the insights I got. Uh, and now... She is being bullied by adults um, because she is being bullied by adults. I think they mentioned that by the saying but adults. She's being bullied by adults because of her bully mom, she wrote. Uh, the hit maker said that uh, they must leave her alone. She said she can't believe she's crying over something she never did. The musician said she had she has deleted certain social media platforms as she was getting hate from the community. I've kept quiet. I never defended myself in any way in Gatula. I suffered and I hated myself for even going on idols. I hate the one show that made Snezi who she is today because I was broken and I was never defended. I healed and was hoping I was going to enjoy just this phase of my life like everybody else, like every mom dies, but I guess not. I'm a bully and my baby is suffering, Snezi wrote. Called for comment, her manager Siabonga, DJ Godin, is called them. I told Daily Sun they don't want to comment on the matter. No comment. She doesn't have anything to say, said uh, DJ Godin. Did I say Dr. Godin? <laughs> it's DJ Godin. Listen, you guys, honestly, I feel bad for her, you guys, because that thing happened a long time ago. Even the Q twins, you guys, I feel like them walking out of the competition was actually the best thing that they could have done for themselves because they have done very, very well with uh, Dira. And I don't think that they have any complaints. I don't think that they're sitting there thinking we should have stayed on Idols. Maybe we would have won. I don't think so. I think they are very content where they are. But I do feel like, you guys, maybe it would help. It's not like they are obligated to do it because they are not the ones that started the rumor that they were being bullied by Snazzy. But I think that if they came out and say, listen, guys, we left uh, because of our own reasons and she did not bully us unless of course it's true that she did bully them okay so i feel sorry for her you guys especially the fact that she can't just freely post her baby and and just enjoying being a mom you know people are always going to say something unkind to her okay anyway you guys tell me what you think about this in the comment section do you think that it's possible that snazzy did actually uh, bully the twins and do you think that she's got a point or not in saying that maybe it's about time that the uh twins come out and say what really happened or what didn't happen in that competition. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumagona share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.